think for a moment of the tremendous power that such massive amounts of water can generate. We dammed up rivers and created electrical energy from the flow of water. We diverted rivers to irrigate our food crops. Think for a moment, too, about how you also have immense amounts of energy within you. And you have access to that energy largely to the extent to which you recognize that you have it. If you think you are weak and ineffectual, the results will betray that belief. Consider that your power is something that you're still getting used to. Still getting clarity about the extent to which you are a powerful being. The only way that you can hone that, refine it, is by practice. So I encourage you today to think about how you're going to practice owning your own power. And again, what is power? Let's go back to that, something basic in the early teachings. Unless something has love as its basis, it has no power. Any apparent power in something that is not loving is artificial power, false power, make-believe, pretend power. So as you contemplate the true depth of your own power, Please remember that the only way that you can grow that power and use that power and share that power in a loving way is by your acknowledgement of it, by your trust in it. And that is what I ask you to contemplate today.